As a last video of this series of morphological operators, I'm going to uh, briefly comment about the uh, operator's erosion and dilation in gray level images. So as I commented before, the erosion in the case of gray level images uh, is basically a minimum operator. So when we define a structuring element B, we uh, basically perform a minimum filter in all values S and T, all, all, all uh, shifts that we can do in all directions um, of the image F that is contained in B. While the dilation is a maximum operator, uh, and it, it, is defined, it is defined like that for uh, all values of B, which is the structuring element. So note that we are using a structuring element that is uh, usually binary, although the gray level, the, the image is in gray level. Let us take this image as an example. So in the left hand side here, I have the original image, which is a gray level image. And then first we performed the erosion. Note how um, the erosion caused the black pixels to, uh, um, to have a larger area. So in this case, the components that are darker become even darker and then uh, everything, so small um, dots are opened a little bit. While the white dots or very bright points are, uh, just disappear because I, take, I took the um, local minima. So those uh, small bright dots here are gone. In the case of the dilation, we have the opposite effect. So we are um, basically reducing the area of black pixels or dark pixels while increasing the area of bright pixels. So the white dots here become even larger while the gaps become uh, narrower. So you can use that and then we can also apply uh, opening and closing. It, is, uh, it follows the same idea when we are using in binary images. However, in here, what we are doing is maximum followed by minimum or minimum uh, followed by a maximum filter. In the case of opening and closing, the effects, uh, because we now have an intensity profile, let's say this, this graph here represents gray level intensities. We can uh, interpret, it, interpret it as, as if we taken, have taken uh, an, a row of the image or a column of the image. So let's say that we increase the intensity so the pixel becomes brighter and brighter and then darker and then so on. By using a flat structuring element, if we use a flat structuring element and we slide those, um, the structuring element through this line here, when we perform opening, we are removing peaks of the image, of the, the intensity values. So very bright values are, uh, will be gone while the valleys are kept. And for the closing operator, it is um, the opposite. So we are going to fill, in, fill the valleys and keep the peaks. These are the effects on that, the same image. So note how in this first case here, the opening, the white dots are gone. However, we do not have um, an abrupt change in the dark pixels. So we keep these black components here, uh, more or less with the same size while uh, reducing or um, basically disappearing with the white dots. And in closing, we have uh, the opposite effect. So we are going to diminish the importance of dark values and keeping 
the bright ones. So this uh, closing does what it's uh, supposed to do, which is close small gaps and small holes in the image. As with the binary images, we can um, we can compose these operators and then make other algorithms such as a gradient. So we can obtain, for example, the edges of an image by using the gradient with what is called the morphological gradient. Basically, we define the structuring element B and then we dilate the image and then um, erode, erode it, the same image though. We have two versions, the eroded version, the dilated version, and then we subtract one for the other. And this is what we have shown here. Original image, dilated image, eroded image, one minus the other, and then we have the borders. So we have a, an edge extraction here. Not only the edges, but actually the gradient of the image. So the directions in which the pixels change. And as in this case, we can uh, then compose the, um, um, we can use those building blocks and then make other more sophisticated algorithms for image processing and analysis.